Okay, this is for the uh, the outside socket uh, device or uh, to control something from the outside of a building. So we've got a typical uh, Sodoff Wi-Fi switch here, and what I'm using is uh, an IP66 box. These are four euros, five euros maximum. Uh, connect to the cables, well put the cables through the box and uh, I'm not going to waste too much time on this, everybody knows how to cut back cables. Uh, with this device here we have only have live and neutral in and out so there's no, there's no earth connection on this, this device. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a simple chock block. We can use a chock block, uh, cable connector, crimp, solder, but what we can't do is do nothing. These have to be connected. So we have the uh, Earth cable now connected and we're going to connect the live and neutral down here and we're going to connect the output to the socket again IP66 rated water rated and there's one or two things we can do here with this device we can we can either screw it down or possibly hot glue to connect this into the the IP66 box and uh, once we've safely connected the cables up, just double check with the multimeter that we have a good earth. Perfect, that's, that's what we need. And in the third part of this video, uh, I'll show you uh, setting up the, the device. It's only basically pressing this button and, and letting it uh, connect to your Wi-Fi router and then uh, we're up and running and we can run this via Alexa or via a phone app. It's uh, all pretty straightforward stuff without any hacks. Okay, so we've got the, the covers back on and we've connected up to the mains now. And we're going to uh, connect this to the, uh, the WeLink uh, app. So there we go. So what we're going to do is press this button for maybe four or five seconds. And then it's going to start wanting to pair. So we add device. Uh, next. Next. And hopefully this should pair up. It's found the device connecting to the van device. Now it's registering. Done. Okay, all done. So now I'm just going to just rename it. So this is going to be test. Test. Pool. Or, or we just go uh, whatever. Test. Oh, test. Pool. Complete. So that's done. That's added successfully. And if we look on our list now, uh, test, there you go. You can hear it. So that's now controlling. All set up. So what I'm going to do is now cut the video. I'm going to go and uh, Put the cover on this box, put this outside in the pump house and uh, and then we'll just show you the video and if it uh, controlling the, the circulating pump. Uh, this is the pull project uh, video. So I'm just going to show you how using the uh, Sonoff device uh, without any hacks, without any messing around, I'll show you how to wire this baby up uh, safely and you'll be able to do this. Ask Wheelink, turn pool on. There you go. Good as gold. And we'll show again in reverse this time. Ask Wheelink, turn pool off. Pool is off. And, uh, in the next video, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll show you how to connect up the, all these devices, all the Sonoff devices, either to Alexa or via your phone. Uh, no hacks, just using the Alexa and uh, one app on your telephone and you can control any device anywhere in the world 
one Alexa and as many mobile phones as you like. Thanks for watching my video and uh, say look out for the Alexa ones, look out for the light ones. We're doing speakers, we're doing Bluetooth amplifiers, we are controlling doors, uh, electric door opening. So you don't need to go out with a set of keys if you're just going to the shops or go for a walk. As long as you've got your phone, where we can get back into the house just using uh, your telephone and the Alexa ramp or just your telephone. It's uh, easy. Thanks very much.